Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I need to go ahead. Thank you. Matt's, uh, well, he did make it clear that his point is on the word official. You mentioned a few condolences that you sent to other countries, but you did not use this word official. That aside, um, I'm sure you've seen, you've probably seen the that the people inside of Iran are, some of them are celebrating this incident. I was wondering what you make of that. So I can certainly understand um, why people inside Iran would um, would feel that way when you look at the brutal repression that happened under um, President Raisi's tenure. Uh, as I said in my in a comment a moment ago, especially when you look at his abuse of women and girls, I can see why um, uh, people in Iran would uh, would feel that way in response to his death. But I obviously can't speak for them. Well, with the condolences and then support for Iranian people, aren't you sending uh, contradictory messages? Absolutely not. If you just listen, if you listen to the statement I just made a moment ago, I think we have been quite clear about how we viewed his tenure. Um, and you don't just have to look at what I said today. I don't think there's any country in the world that has been more clear-eyed about the Iranian regime and more clear-eyed about this president's repression uh, of the Iranian people than the United States of America. We have made that quite clear. Um, uh, okay, so it would be, be close one and two, I think. Um, uh, we have been quite clear, and that has not just been with the words that you have heard from the senior most leaders in our government, but has been the actions that we have taken, including imposing more than 500 sanctions on Iran, the Iranian government and Iranian entities for their destabilizing actions in the region and for the repression of their own people. Yeah. 